Antamina is an open pit mining operation that ranks among the top 10 world class major mining companies in terms of production volume. Antamina's mine pit currently measures 3,400 meters long by 1,800 meters wide and 700 meters deep. Its total proven and probable reserves are 822 million metric tons. Hola, mi nombre es Jorge Gersi. Soy el gerente mío. Hi, my name is Jorge Gersi. Here, company operations are divided into five operating divisions. There is the engineering division that handles medium and short-term planning. Medium term covers a period of between one and five years, and short term is a period of between one week and one year. We have a geology division which oversees the minerals and geological models in the mine. Next comes the Business Improvement Division, where training is given to experienced and new personnel on all of the different types of machinery we use throughout the operation. This division is also in charge of process programming command and control, dispadmin and control, for the entire operation. Then there is the Geotechnical Division, which is in charge of everything related to slope stability inside the mine, landfill sites, and in the 3.2 kilometer tunnel that connects the mine to the processing plant and through which the conveyor belt travels, carrying mined ore to the plant. And finally, there is the operating division, which looks after the loading, hauling, drilling, and blasting equipment. Daily production volume at the mine is approximately 560,000 tons. 110,000 tons of which go to the processing plant to enter the grinding and flotation circuits and subsequent storage. After blasting, and once the material is fragmented into an optimal size, the ore is loaded and hauled to the primary crusher, while the waste rock debris is moved to the landfills. This is all done using a fleet of 90 trucks that include Caterpillar 240-ton capacity dump trucks, model 793, series C, D, and F, along with a new fleet of 320-ton capacity Komatsu trucks. The loading process with five equipment shovels, including four 80-ton capacity Bucyrus shovels, and another 120-ton capacity PNH, with two more just like it, to be added during 2012. Prior to treatment at the processing plant, the ore is moved by truck to the Fuller brand primary crusher that can process on average 80,000 tons per day. This equipment reduces the size of large blocks of ore to ready it for transport to the processing plant on a conveyor belt that connects the Antamina and Yanan Kancha ravines. Here at the concentrator plant, our mission is to treat the complex and polymetallic minerals that come from the mine deposit and produce different types of mineral concentrates. We produce copper, zinc, silver, molybdenum and bismuth. In 2010, we produced 325,000 fine metric tons of copper. In zinc, we placed first in zinc production with a 30% share of the domestic market the equivalent of about 429,000 fine metric tons of zinc concentrate. As for silver, we rank number one as the top silver producer in the country. 323 people work in the processing plant with one single purpose in mind, which is to continue to improve our processes, produce greater volume, become extraordinarily productive and the most efficient. The processing plant is also responsible for transporting copper and zinc concentrates to the port through the mineral slurry pipeline. The slurry pipeline is situated at 4,300 meters above sea level and is used exclusively for transporting copper and zinc concentrates through the 302 kilometer long pipeline down to Puerto Punto Lobitos, our shipping port and final destination. Silver, molybdenum and bismuth products are transported by truck.
Located in the Winkush Ravine and three kilometers from our processing plant, this structure is believed to be the highest tailings dam in the world and is currently 211 meters high. This is the work of high technology which ensures environmental protection, its structural stability and strong resistance to earthquake activity. To transport its mineral to the coast, Antamina uses a 302 kilometer long pipeline that connects the mine with its shipping port, Puerto Punta Lobitos, located in Warme and is company owned. The slurry pipeline transports copper and zinc concentrates in the form of pulp mixture of approximately 40% water and 60% solids. The slurry pipeline was designed with cutting edge technology. At the time of its construction, the mechanized ultrasonic testing method was being applied in Peru for the first time. This is a method of performing joint and pipe seam quality control, and it also includes a pressure monitoring system that uses fiber optics. The mineral concentrate and water mixture flowing down the slurry pipeline reaches Puerto Punta Lobitos and discharges into three storage tanks La Roque's press filters are used to separate the water from the mineral. The water emerging from this filtration process is then treated and used to irrigate a 174 hectare plantation, which is a company developed a forestation project in Guatemala. After filtration, the copper and zinc concentrates are stored in piles in a hermetically sealed building that holds up to 169,000 tons of concentrate. The concentrates are classified according to metallic content and await the arrival of freight ships at the docks of Puerto Punta Lobitos. Puerto Punta Lobitos has a ship loading capacity of 1,400 metric tons per hour, a 271 meter long dock, and a hermetically enclosed conveyor belt that runs the same distance from the concentrate storage pile over to a telescopic feeder arm that can swivel up to 180 degrees and proceeds to load the mineral concentrates directly into the ship holds. This dock rapidly reaches a depth of 28 meters which enables cargo ships with the capacity to carry up to 50,000 tons to dock and fill up their holds only a few meters from shore. Our copper and zinc concentrates are exported from the Guatemala coast to different destinations around the world, including China, Korea, Japan, several countries in Europe, and Canada. Antamina's maintenance division is organized into four main units. The maintenance division as a whole is organized into four major units. One unit handles power systems. Another unit is in charge of maintenance at the processing plant, which involves all processing plant equipment, such as the ball mills, cells, and filtration equipment, etc. And all equipment and machinery used on through until the mineral concentrates reach the port on the coast. Next, we have a unit that performs all planning and predictive maintenance. And the final unit is in charge of mine maintenance, which does the maintenance on every piece of equipment used in the mine, including trucks, shovels, drills, all auxiliary equipment that includes the tractors, motor graders, and front loaders. The vision in maintenance, what we dream about is being the builders of excellence in mining maintenance. And of course, our mission is to ensure that all productive equipment assets function at the capacity levels that our customers require. Employee health is without a doubt one of Antamina's fundamental operating principles. We apply International Standard OSAS 18001, which establishes a set of verifiable requirements on an organization's performance in managing occupational risks that affect the health and safety of its workers and strategic partners.
On January 5, 2010, Antamina officially inaugurated the Antamina Expansion Program, announcing a $1.3 billion investment for the expansion of our mining facilities and mineral processing capacity. Following the installation of a second sag mill and another ball mill, operations of an additional copper and zinc grinding and flotation circuit began at the end of 2011. The rhythm of this expanded processing capacity is expected to reach its full potential during the early months of 2012. In this way, Antamina will continue to operate with success, providing opportunities for growth and development for more Peruvians, always looking out for the safety and well-being of our employees and the environment until mine closure, which is expected to occur in the year 2029.